Some tantalizing tales of Nazi treasure are based on supposed eyewitness accounts in the last days of the war, but not all can be dismissed as fanciful. A mule train spotted traveling up an alpine mountain one night attracted attention. So some locals, who had relatively little to do with the confusion of the war, realized something was going on, including my mother. She was a young girl then, and after doing the chores in the stables one evening, she saw a column of mules making its way up the mountain. One special thing she always mentioned was that there was a white mule among them. Eva Sturm's mother saw what was supposed to be a secret transport of hundreds of gold bars worth millions of dollars. It didn't stay a secret for long. This gold was also eventually recovered by American troops after rumors spread about the mysterious mule train in the night. I think they started because there were a few lumberjacks who saw these bags. So it wasn't all that secret. Many had noticed something. Rumors and stories persist of other buried treasures that were not recovered. According to local legends, some people grew suddenly rich after the war. Such tales have attracted a new generation of treasure hunters. Nobody would admit that it happened in this way. But there are rumors, there are reports. <laughs> At times it is children who tell the stories that their father suddenly had a lot of money and wealth. And that is, of course, always interesting for us to follow up. You could find a further trail through one of these connections. Marked on Jürgen Proska's map are potential sites that he thinks could hold Nazi loot. Armed with local knowledge and a metal detector, he scours the hills near Garmisch Partenkirchen in the far south of Germany. He and his fellow treasure hunters have found a variety of relics, from bullets to rusty helmets, but no Nazi gold. That is the former training area of the mountain troops, and they knew every stone, every rock, every cranny here and they found good hideouts, which were then used to stash known transports, where treasure came to the area, but also transports that weren't recorded. Not all transports were treasure, and on a former military training ground, they have to tread carefully. Oh, yeah. oh. There's something here. We're at the end of our wisdom here. We need someone to help us. A bomb disposal team confirmed that they were right to be cautious. Jürgen and fellow treasure hunters found a cache of live rifle grenades. The hunt for fabled Nazi gold goes on. It was here in June 1945 that American troops recovered more than 700 bars of pure refined bullion. The hoard was worth hundreds of millions of dollars. All that's left is a hole in the forest floor, yet treasure hunters still dream of finding a motherlode, similar to that unearthed by victorious Allied troops 